terrorist launching pads. across the line of control. These operations are a part of the mandate of the Indian Army to file any attempts of infiltration into our soil. India has been repeatedly urging Pakistan that its territory is not allowed to be used for terrorist activities and the promise they have made in January 2004 that they will not allow their soil to be used for terrorist activities against India. They have not walked the talk. On the contrary, they have been engaged in aiding, abetting, funding terrorists all these days. In the recent past, many attempts have been made to infiltrate into Indian soil. The state-sponsored terrorism emerged from the soil of Pakistan has become not only a threat to India, but for the entire region and for that matter for the world. We have made all meaningful possible efforts to engage with Pakistan, to discuss our issues through a dialogue, but unfortunately Pakistan has chosen the path of encouraging terrorism. Our positive gestures were only reciprocated through further encouragement to terrorists and also justifying terrorist acts. After the Uri terrorist attack, people of India were outraged and the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has reassured the nation that such condemnable acts will not be tolerated anymore and befitting measures will be taken to ensure the safety and security of the country. The operations by our army yesterday night were part of their responsibility in defending the unity, safety and security of the country. It is proved now the country is safe in the hands of the Prime Minister and the army and that's why the people of the country from different parts of the world, all Indians are appreciating the steps taken by our Indian Army in countering the terrorist infiltration. We are a peace-loving country, but it takes two to ensure peace. Pakistan should realize its responsibility towards ensuring peace in this region and hope at least now Pakistan will realize its folly and stop aiding, abetting terrorism against India.